heard you tell your patient that ivermectin is not a good treatment for brain tumors, but I saw multiple studies showing that ivermectin can slow the growth and survival of glioma and glioblastoma cells. I get asked about ivermectin a lot from pediatricians and patients. You're right that many of the studies show that ivermectin could help slow cancers, but those studies were done in labs or in animal studies, not in humans. We don't yet know if the drug works the same way in humans. Right, there haven't been any large, well-designed clinical studies at people yet. Yes, we need further research to know if it's safe, if it works, and what the right dose would be before we can use ivermectin for cancer treatment. But for patients without other options, why not try ivermectin? The dose needed to affect tumors in lab studies is much higher than the dose used for parasitic infections. At those high doses, ivermectin can cause serious side effects, like brain swelling, balance issues, and seizures. It can also interact with a lot of other medications and could cause problems with the heart and liver. Now I understand why you wouldn't want to take the risk in using ivermectin for patients with brain tumors. Mm.